CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Wednesday morning. We're waking up to some showers here and there across the Keys, but really the worst of the weather is on the West Coast. Fort Myers, Naples, all due to Ada, which is intensifying in the Gulf. So although it is to our West, we are seeing a few rain bands pushing through parts of the lower Keys, although it is quieted down significantly since earlier. And as we take a look, a flood watch remains in effect for Broward and Miami-Dade County through this evening because we are expecting additional rainfall. Some areas still dealing with that lingering flooding due to the heavy rainfall recently. The sustained winds, the southeast 15 to even 30 miles per hour, 35 mile per hour winds currently in Key West and gusts as high as 44 miles an hour. So very blustery conditions down in the lower Keys where a wind advisory has been issued until 11 a.m. as we are seeing those strong gusts due to Ada. You can see it's still very rough and dangerous surf as we look from our Windjammer Resort camera. So obviously not safe to go swimming, that high risk of recurrence continuing, and also a small craft advisory. But Sandra K. Booth sharing this spectacular sunrise from Lauderdale by the sea. It is gorgeous. And Bill Silver, too. Look at all that sunshine from Coral Gables. It is beautiful. Temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. It's warm. It's humid. As we look at the latest advisory for Ada, it is moving north northeast at 15 miles an hour, expected to become a Cat 1 hurricane. And a hurricane watch has been issued for parts of the west coast of Florida. It is expected to move northeastward and possibly be near Tampa overnight and then Cedar Key as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So there's a look at Ada, Tropical Storm Theta, not a threat to us, a wave in the Caribbean moving westward, has a high potential of development. We'll keep an eye on that for you. But today, this Veterans Day, we're going to be windy with sun at times, gusty storms possible. Of course, today we are honoring and thanking all of our veterans, our heroes out there. There are going to be many festivities. Just make sure you have your rain gear with you as the future radar is showing. As we head into the middle of the day, but especially into the afternoon, notice how the heaviest downpours will be on the Gulf Coast, but we could also see some of those outer, outer heavy rain bands moving through. Small craft advisory is in effect for boaters as we have seas four to eight choppy conditions on the bays and tonight's body storms, gusty downpours, the upper 70s. Tomorrow, breezy sun and storms, but as we head into the weekend, finally, some drier air is going to lower our rain chance and bring us more warm sunshine with highs in the upper 80s. Let's get to that 